Shockwave to the hamstring tendons to increase healing. Then at lower pressure, we're going to go to 2 bar 12 hertz. We'll be using the 15 millimeter convex head. And we'll be treating semi membranosis, semi tendinosis, as you may have seen in the video, to remove scar tissue. This will be done at a slightly higher frequency. We'll apply some gel to the uh, hamstring tendon. This again will be a moving technique. We're moving up and down the hamstring tendons, trying to give an equal amount of shocks to each area. We'll start by applying the shocks at one part of the hamstring tendon and then moving across. It's not unusual to roll off the hamstring tendons as you're doing this treatment. If you do, don't worry about it. Just come back on. A little bit of treatment around the hamstring tendons to encourage some infiltration of fibroblasts and the other growth factors like IGF-1 and 2 uh, is always useful so don't worry if you're not exactly on the hamstring tendons it's perfectly fine you'll increase healing around them by just going around them. You can use this technique on the upper hamstring tendon at the insertion uh, the video is the same actually as doing the insertional tendonitis so uh, please watch that video if you want to see how this is done at the opposite end. As you can see here we're just going up and down the tendons. We went up and down the tendons for 2,000 shocks. And that should increase the healing rate around the tendons.